Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of hotel management system. So here you can see this, I have already started the project and in this, first thing what we get is a login page. Here we have to enter the username and password. For the first time, I'm going to use the wrong user ID and password. So my username is sort of, that is the valid one. And I'm going to enter the valid, invalid password. And when I try to log in, here you can see the strong username or password is visible over here. So now I'm going to enter the valid username and password. So my username is Saurav and password is Kumar Saurav. Before I log in, I must tell you that I'm going to explain each of these stuff, how these are working, how to design this stuff and how to backend code for this one. And this login page is definitely connected with the database. So I'm going to show you that all. Okay. So now I'm going to log in. When I click on login, here you can observe we move to the dashboard. So in the dashboard, first thing what we get is the option to add a room. Here you can add the room number to your application. So first thing we have few rooms over here. So I'm going to add 302 inside. I'm going to add a new room that is room number will be 302 and this room will be AC type and the bed type will be triple and the price of this one will be 6000 and when I try to add room okay so let me just remove this price for now and try to add room here you can see this when I when this field is empty fill all fields the message is over here so click on ok and try to fill this one so 6000 and add room data saved and when I click on ok here you can observe now 302 is added so here you can observe when I click on add room, the data is now visible over here in the data grid view. So this is not inside the data grid view only. If I close the application and re-execute the application, this data is present over here. Because I have saved that data inside the database and shown the changes over here at the same time. Okay. So now in the next field that is customer registration, when I move over there, here you can see this, we have fields for customer registration so i'm going to register a new customer that is puja and its mobile number will be let me fill the data of these nationality indian gender female and this one is for date of birth so i'm going to search for date of birth like this one 1996 march 20 let me add the id proof that is either aadhar card pan card or anything five five two like this one after this address Patna India and check-in date will be the today date select the bed type so we have added the room of actually the triple bed type triple so select triple and the room was AC so when I select AC here you can see this 302 is added so I try to search for non AC and when I search for click on this no room is available because we have added the triple room of AC type and we have only one room okay in that type so I have selected the AC and 302 we have added these data are all retrieved from the database and shown dynamically on these combo boxes so when 302 will be allotted then this 302 is not visible over here so when I click on this and try to allocate okay so let me just clear this one and try to allocate room we will find fill all field empty fields it means that all fields are mandatory you have to fill all the data now i'm going to paste it and allocate room room number 302 allocation successful when i click on ok so you can observe nothing is cleared when i click on checkout and move in over here so everything is clear so we can actually clear on that not a big issue so let me okay i will do that later so move out to checkout here you can observe we have few stuff over here so here I have to search for puja so when I search for puja puja is visible over here and when I delete it all the data is visible over here here you can observe you cannot mention anything over here you cannot change anything so how to check out the customer here over here so if you want to search if you have multiple record then we can we have to search by the name so I'm going to search puja when I click on this the data is filled over here and we can check out click on check out are you sure you want to check out if I cancel nothing will happen so let me remove this one for now 
okay and move back over here so here what we have done is now here you can see this these fields are empty and when I check out no customer selected and now I'm going to select the puja okay so I've selected the puja 302 before checking out the puja I want to show you the customer details in the customer detail we have few stuff here we have a combo box here I want to see all the customer detail so when I click on this all customer detail is visible that is puja puja is still in the room that's why it's checkout date is empty so in hotel customer here you can see this puja is still in the hotel because we haven't checked out her and she is in the 302 so when we try to add a new customer with a triple ac type here you can observe no room is available we have added 302 302 is now allocated to puja so you can observe 302 is yes yes is what it means that allocated or not booked means yes is this one is allocated yes it's allocated okay so now check out and here I have shown you that or in hotel customer that is puja is over here now check out customer these customers has previously checked out I have checked out these customer when I was designing so now I'm going to check out the customer that is puja okay so click on check out click on puja and just check out okay check out successful click on ok here you can see this this one is refreshed now let me move to the customer detail and here let me just check this here you can see this on the checkout we have only two records for now when I click on checkout now we have Pooja over here and in hotel customer we have only Kumar which is previously added in this video I have added the Pooja and the Pooja is now checked out here you can also so everything is working fine this is for employee custom employee table so in this we we can add new employee and on the basis of this user id and password we can log in inside this application so employee detail here you can see this Saurav Kumar and my username is Saurav and password is Kumar Saurav with the help of this I can log in we can delete the customer on the basis of that so I'm going to add new employee so I'm going to add some Rahul mobile number Gender mail rahul at the rate gmail.com username rahul password is pass and click on register employee registered okay and when I click on okay everything is cleared now now go to employee details here you will find that rahul is over here and you can simply click on this and you can see all the details delete employee you can delete before deleting let me show you that if we can log in with this Rahul or not so let me close this and we have to start this once again and here I'm going to enter the username that is Rahul and password is pass and click on login and here you can also we can log in now so now I'm going to show you how to delete the employee so I want to delete so number 5 that is Rahul currently we have added now click on 5 delete record deleted here you can see this no record is found with the name of Rahul okay so now let me check that if we are we can still log in with the name Rahul and pass let me show you and pass login wrong username and password because this record has been deleted so that's why we cannot log in with this so our username and password is Saurav and password is Kumar Saurav login okay so I have shown you all the features which I am going to show you how to design in the further videos so if you have not subscribed to the video channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon and please share it with your friends in the next videos I am going to show you how to design the login page and how to back and code for this and step by step I am going to show you design how to develop all this application by yourself so if you are a beginner then don't worry I am going to define and develop in a very detailed manner so you don't face any issue with that. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.